june twelfth saint john of sahagun also known as saint john of fagundes john was born in the year fourteen nineteen he was the oldest of seven children and was raised in a pious and well-to-do family he was educated by benedictines at fagundes abbey he was ordained a priest in the year fourteen forty five he held several benefices in the diocese of burgos spain his father having obtained them for him like investments but john surrendered all but one finding that a more thorough knowledge of theology would be beneficial he obtained permission to enter the university of salamanca he made a four years course and merited his degree in divinity during this time he exercised the sacred ministry at the chapel of the college of st bartholomew and held that position for nine years he was then obliged to undergo an operation for gallstones and during his illness he vowed that if his life were spared he would become a religious on his recovery in the year fourteen sixty three he applied for admission to the order of hermits of st augustine in the church of st peter and on the twenty eighth of august fourteen sixty four he made his profession he made such progress in religious perfection that he was soon appointed master of novices and in the year fourteen seventy one prior of the community john was noted for his devotion to the blessed sacrament during mass he often saw the host surrounded by light sometimes he had visions of the bodily form of christ at the moment of consecration his devotion and his visions often led to some very lengthy masses he was reported to also levitate during his time in deep prayer he was gifted with a special power to penetrate the secrets of conscience so that it was not easy to deceive him and sinners were almost forced to make a good confession this also helped him attain wonderful results in doing away with enemies and feuds in his sermons he like another st john the baptist fearlessly preached the word of god and scourged the crimes and vices of the day though thereby the rich and noble were offended a duke once upset at one of his sermons hired assassins to stop him but they recognized john's holiness and would not touch him they confessed to him and asked forgiveness the duke later fell ill and was healed by john's prayers some local women however were not so concerned when he preached against wasting resources on extravagant fashions some of them threw stones at him in the street miracles were attributed to father john's intervention before and after his death one occurred in salamanca when a small child fell into a well the locals made every effort but could not effect his rescue they sent for father john who went to the scene he laid his waistband on the stone wall of the well and prayed that the waters would return the child the well water rose to ground level floating the child to safety his scathing words on impurity produced a salutary effect in a certain nobleman who had been living with a concubine on being put out by the nobleman the woman swore vengeance and it was believed that she caused the saint's death by poison soon after his death his veneration spread all over spain the process of beatification began in the year fifteen twenty five and in the year sixteen o one he was declared blessed new miracles were wrought at his intercession and on the sixteenth of october sixteen ninety alexander the eighth entered his name in the list of canonized saints benedict the thirteenth fixed his feast for the twelfth of june his relics can be found in spain belgium and peru